Hej och välkommen till Old Lady Plays. Jag heter Kate, den gamla damen, och detta är The Journeyman. Episode 47 of this linguistic journeyman where we change the language of the game into the language of the country where we land until I become fluent in that country's language, which we've done because we're now in our third year at Tromsø in Norway after trips to Sweden and Holland before. And uh, here we are. So let's have a look at the end of the season. This is the end of our, of our second season uh, where we did win the title. Um, and here are the player awards. Um, we had uh, Georg Rudset, to my great surprise, um, grabbed the player of the season. I was not expecting that. Um, I mean, he played very well. I just, I would have thought Jabari might have got it or Rivero personally, but uh, you know, what can you do? Uh, goal of the season. Let's have a quick look at the goal of the season. Mads Ilso, he's had some good se good goals, so it's possible this was actually a pretty good one. Mads Ilso, a free kick. Oh, what a curl on that ball. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, so pretty good goal of the season. Signing the season, undoubtedly Tony Moya for free. Just, he's been great for us, no question about that. Young player of the season, Georg Rudset. He is only 22 years old, so that is fine. Uh, season review, we were the Elite Serien winners. Um, I did a team meeting, and I've done this. This is an old, an old save so that I could get back to those, um, what do you call it? I'll be back in a second with the uh, some other awards that we got, because we got quite a number of awards this year. All right, I'll be back in a second. All right, so here we are with some other records and, and things that we claimed and, and I'm pretty proud proud of. Um, our final league position of first in Elite Stadium represents a new record high. We have never won the top Norwegian league before with Tromsø. They've never won it before. So congratulations, Tromsø. You've got a, you've got a title for the first time ever. Uh, Rudset sets a new average rating record, 7.54, partly why he got the player of the year, I'm sure. Berg Pedersen was named as Norwegian Premier Division Player of the Year. I was a bit surprised by this, too. I would have thought that, um, again, Rudset or Jabari were more influential, or Vivero, for that matter, with his 19 goals. But uh, Berg Pedersen really contributed, so... Rivero wins the top goal scorer award. He's got 19 goals in 28 appearances. Uh, bagged five assists, mostly setting up Christensen, and uh, they work very, very well together. Uh, Christensen bagged 14 goals and 10 assists in finishing second in the uh, goal scoring race. Um, Rivero wins breakthrough of the year, and if you'll notice, we won all three spots which I think says great things about our youth drive, uh, although one of them was on, on loan, but still. And then what baffled me, I mean, I, somehow or other, Mario Jovic of Strumskogset uh, got manager of the year. I took a promoted team and won the league for their first time in their history. He won the cup with a team that was already in the top four. I don't understand how that works. It doesn't make any sense to me, but there it is. So, yeah, I didn't get manager of the year. I was really rather hoping I would and sort of expecting that I would. So I was a bit surprised that it didn't work out that way. Um, let me just quickly see. I think there was something else here I wanted to look at. Uh, a bunch of contracts expired. We've had a bunch of people leave the club. I'll get around to that in a minute. Um, not much in the way of new players coming in, just sort of clearing out some of the some of the players who don't really need to be here anymore. All right, I'll be back again in a moment with um, some... So the prediction for the new season is is out uh, as of late February, and um, we are favored seventh, which is okay, you know, 
25 to 1 odds to win the uh, to win the league. Um, I think that's I think that's reasonable. Um, I think we can we, we can do better than that, but I think that's a reasonable expectation of us. Um, we also let's have a quick peek forward here. Have the top goal scorer odds for this year: Jose Rivero, two to one for the top goal scorer, and Morden Christensen, four to one to be the second goal scorer. So, well, four to one to be the top goal scorer, but most likely to be the second. Um, so yeah, that's pretty good. I'm pleased with that. Uh, there is also, well, oh, sorry, there it is. Litserian top player odds from goal. Uh, and despite our having taken these last year in several different ways, um, we're not even in the list. Nobody thinks any of our players are going to be the top player this year. So, okay, you say so. Uh, young player odds. And this one kills me. Vivero is nine to one to be the top young player in the Elite de Sedium. He won it last year, but somehow he's not going to win it this year. I don't understand that. It doesn't make any sense. But there you go. Um, that's it for the various odds and predictions and so on. Let's have a look at the transfers. Uh, transfer history. La 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 la. This is it. This is all we've done. Yeah, nothing. Why? Well, here's the thing. We're 2.6 million in the hole. That's after I got 550,000 in TV money and 2.6 million in, or 2.2 million in prize money from last year. So we are still in pretty rough shape. Um, We've got a budget of 324000 It's down some because I gave them high bonuses. Um, but we've got a huge wage budget, way higher than what we're actually spending. So that's good. We're well under the wage budget. And really, we just we can't afford to be buying players. We're, we're in really rough shape. I mean, they did give me a new contract in the end. Um, I didn't get a raise, of course. Um, and we lost several coaches because we weren't able to pay the wages that they were asking for in their in their um, re-signing. So it's it's being very tight, and because of that, I'm trying to be very responsible and not bring in anybody I don't need to. So I've got my eye on a left back that I'm probably going to bring in. He might be as much as eighty thousand euros, but that's about all I'm inclined to spend. Um, because I want us to, to make this club financially stable. So we've got a shot at the Champions League this year, so we're going we're gonna to get into that. And, you know, all the gods willing, we'll end up um, making the Champions League group stage, which would be terrific. We'd get stomped, but I'm sure we would make an incredible amount of money off it because of the, the TV money. So uh, that's the plan anyway. That's the hope, is that we can find our way through to do that. Um, so that's why the transfer history looks the way it does. Nobody has come in. Out has been just a few guys on loan, um, just development stuff. And Simon Hoon, Simon Hoon, um, I just don't think he's got what it takes. Um, you know, he's a striker, his finishing is seven, his composure is eight. I, I just don't, his vision is seven. <laughs> Passing seven, technique is five, first touch eight. I mean, he's just technically not good enough. He's got wonderful mental stats. He's got wonderful um, physical attributes, I should say attributes, not stats. But um, but his technicals are so bad, and he's already 19. It's not like we can really train him pretty hard on those. Uh, I mean, we can, but they're not going to come up to a level that's really going to make any difference to us. So we sold him. And they gave him, gave us 7,000 for him. He was worth something like 400 pounds, at the, 400 euros at the time. So I, I took it. Um, the We did have a number of people leave on free transfers. No? Okay, then maybe they're under released players. There we go. Um, Umberto Seraco moved on. Um, he was our, our goalkeeper in the first season, um, replaced by Carvalho last season, who was 
you know, undeniably better. And so that's that with him. Adam Orn Arnorson, still a decent right back, didn't want to sign a new contract. Um, wouldn't really say much about why, he just wasn't interested in signing a new contract with our team. So away he goes. And lastly, August Nicholson. Um, again, a pretty decent player, but for whatever reason, really just didn't want to sign a contract with us. Um, so I'm I'm a little disappointed by that one. Um, I might I wonder if I could give him a contract now. I wonder if he'd be interested. Nope, not at all. So yeah. So that's been how things have gone in the off season. It's been very quiet. Um, I've been mostly fending off offers for my players because people are lowballing us all over the place. I got an offer of one point five million for Daniel Sackett. It's worth seven hundred and fifty k. So they were offering basically double his value. But he's our best player, and he's worth way more than that. So I came back to them and said, how about 5 million and a 30% clause? And they withdrew the offer. And that's Liverpool, all right? It's not like they don't have the money. They're just being cheap. So I have no sympathy for them. He has no minimum free release clause. So until they pay a price that I'm willing to say is okay, he ain't going anywhere. And Lord, until the board overrules me and sells him for $300 or something. <sighs> but... Um, let me look quickly at how things are going. Yeah, we got time to play a game. Let's play a game. Um, so we've got a game to play today. We are in the Norwegian Super Cup, and we're facing Strømskotset because they uh, won the cup last year, and we won the league. So uh, the team today: Karalju, Bush, Drevink, uh, Gundersen, Sakic, and Olsen. Jabari and Rudset, of course, in the midfield. Pedersen on the right. Agim Lekai, who went out on loan last year and came back after scoring six goals at uh, Bromma Pokorna in Sweden, is uh, is ready to go out on the wing. He's not a great finisher, but I think he can make a reasonably decent winger. So that's where I'm going to play him. Uh, and, of course, Morten Christensen and Jose Guerrero up front. Um, that's about it. Let's go. Roll it. Roll it. Roll it on the river. We've got basically the same formation. I mean, they withdraw one of the strikers to be an attacking midfielder, but otherwise we have the same formation. That's interesting. It's a breezy minus two here in late February in the Arctic Circle. Um, we owe them after what happened in our last match. Let's go out there and get revenge. I will have my revenge. Let me know if you know what that's from. Be specific. Not just which show, but which series of which show. It was a while ago, but Trump's has suffered defeat the last time we played the B. I don't think so. We're professional enough. Uh, they'll miss a player of his caliber, of course. How are they doing? They're going balanced 4 2 3 1 wide. We'll stick with our usual positivity and hope we can bring out a, a bit more silverware because why not? It's always fun to grab a super cup when you can. Oh, we got a little bit of snow coming down now. Berg Pedersen. Oh my goodness. Off the bar, down, hits the line, and bounces out. Cannot get much closer to a goal than that, but there it is. Gunderson finds Berg Pedersen. He gets away. Can he beat his man? He does not. Horst Greving comes up behind him, gets the ball. Oh, and Jabari's shot is wide and high. Uh, 
Anderson. Playing around behind the, or between the lines here. Nothing out of it. More wide in the end. Jabari. Oh, got a shot, got a shot, and it went in, finally. Rid sets. With the first goal of the season, the, pl the fans' player of the year. Grabs himself a goal to start the season off right. Three bites at the cherry to get this one. We got that one, then that one, then the third one. And it finally went in. Works for me. Nice try. And uh, make sure they go out there and win the final for the supporters. I'd say don't get complacent. Yeah. All right. Olsen headed away. Jabari can't win it back right away. Don't give up a goal this early. That would be bad. I would be frustrated. Man, it's hot. It's the middle of the night. It's 2.30 in the morning, and it's it's got to be 25 or, or 30 degrees in here, and um, that's a lot in, <laughs> in 45, 77 to uh, about... 86 somewhere in there in here and humid and oh and i can't have my fan on because it makes all kinds of noise so yeah it's just hot and i already wore all my tank tops and i don't feel like doing laundry right now so hmm Oh, good take. Jabari's got the ball. Gunderson, good set. Back for Gunderson. And we're into their half. Christensen's over the top and he's through. Gets the shot away. Saved by the keeper. Humbered out for a, for a, for a throw in? For a corner. For a corner. All right. Not a good corner. Gunderson chases. Gets nowhere. Why is Carvalho nervous? He shouldn't be nervous. We're doing well. All right, let's get some fresh legs out there. Black eye can come out for Markovic. Um, I'm going to bring on Hustad for Vivero, who hasn't had very much of a good game. And do, 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 do. The, oh, that's right. These are the only subs I have. So if I want to bring somebody on, it has to be among these four. I don't see anybody else who needs subbing right now, so let's leave it at that. Jabari. Off the post. And it creeps in at the post. Bragaberg Pedersen gets the rebound and bangs it in. 2-0, and we've won the cup, I suspect. Oh, got lucky there. Shot it for the far post. It hit somebody and went in at the near post. And hooray! We win the Super Cup. Yay! Da 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 Okay. There we go. How's that? Look at that cup. We're carrying it around and it's all kinds of awesome. All right. 
I think we tell them we appreciate your efforts. Congratulations, lad. I'm happy with your performances out there. Well done. Hurrah, hurrah. Tromsa lift Mr. Finale. Tromsa win Mr. Finale. Jovic on plays. Yeah. Medals. Now well, everybody who played gets one. Plays enters Norway Hall of Fame. Wow. It didn't take much to get into the Norway Hall of Fame, apparently. Um, so, yeah, interesting. Um, we'll see how we get on. See if we can bring that up a little further. That'd be nice. Web info. I'm curious whether to see I'm still favored personnel. That's all right. I was hoping I might have gotten up to legend or icon, but not yet. Plays leaves Trumps to glory. Classy Jabari is on form for Tromsa. You are superb with the number and quality of chances. Good man, you. And that's going to do it for this episode. We will be back. Where will we be back? How about the first round of the cup? Along with, I guess, Sarpsborg. Because we just played Tromsa set. So we'll, we'll play Sarpsborg and um, the first round of the Norwegian Cup, which will probably be against some little tiny nobody team. And that's always fun, just playing against some team you've never heard of and probably never will again. Um, that's when we'll be back. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Um, if you have, please consider hitting the like button. and. Um, I know I don't usually ask, but there you go. Let me think. Is there anything else I want to say before I close up? No, I think that's about it. I hope you have a great day, and take care.